Historically, general aviation in the United States has always been more developed than anywhere else in the world. And that's one of the reasons why the majority of the planes we review on this channel come from the United States. But today, we will talk about another plane that's known and loved worldwide, but has its roots in the capital of fine wine and blue cheese. Welcome to Big Metal Birds, and in this video, we review the Sokata TBM family. Let's wind the clock back to the early 1980s and land on one of the beautiful fields of Tarbes, France, where a small aviation company called Sokata was located. Specializing in light single-engine two-seaters, Sokata's business was going great, and they started to think of expanding their lineup with the bigger plane, one that could be adopted for cargo, civil, and military missions. Well, call it luck or call it perfectly timed business decision, but French investors found one struggling American aircraft manufacturer that had just shown a prototype that could potentially tick all the boxes Sokata was looking for in their new plane. The company we're talking about is none other than Mooney. Yes, in 1982, despite the general aviation downturn, Mooney was working on their newest and most advanced airplane the pressurized high-performance Model 301. Following Mooney's naming convention, and just in case, we have a video about all the Mooney M20 planes. Give it a watch if you want to know more. The 301 got its name because it achieved 301 miles per hour at flight level 250. Quite a fast plane. Unfortunately, financial difficulties prevented Mooney from starting production of the 301. The situation worsened with the further economic downturn, which led to Mooney being acquired by French investors in 1985. The good news was that these investors decided not to abandon the 301 project. Instead, a joint venture between Mooney and Sokata was formed in 1987 to continue working on and improving the Model 301. The venture was named TBM, where TB stands for TARBS, the city where Sokata was located, and M is for Mooney. Mooney's 301 was upped to 700, so the new plane would be the TBM 700. The plan was to utilize Mooney's knowledge of creating really fast and incredibly reliable planes, but with the bigger fuselage and European luxury. The development of the new plane went all right, although there were a few strange decisions made, like the separation of production lines, Mooney's facility was developing Model 700 for the US market, and TARB's facility was responsible for the European market. Despite that, on the 14th of July 1988, the first prototype of TBM 700 made it to the skies. Testing proved that clever engineering and combined European and American aeronautical knowledge made the Model 700 tick all the boxes in terms of performance and even surpass the predicted numbers in some criteria. Unfortunately, just a few months before acquiring the type certificate for the US market, Mooney again faced financial issues, and this time was forced to leave the venture, making Sokata the sole owner of the TBM. During early 1990, the first batch of 50 TBM 700s was delivered. Well, to say it was warmly welcomed wouldn't be enough. Pilots were amazed at how fast and agile this bird was. Fast airplane. Good looking airplane. And how much comfort it offered for the passengers. At that time, there was practically no other plane that could offer such performance in the same category. The popularity grew rapidly, and it was worldwide. And TBM was busy fulfilling dozens of orders. While we will take a deeper look at the specs and performance of the improved model, Let's briefly check why Model 700 became so popular. First of all, it's a pressurized plane, meaning its ceiling is 30,000 feet and it can comfortably cruise at 260 knots, while its maximum is 300 knots. Another crucial factor is that this performance was available with both four passengers and full fuel, something that many other planes weren't capable of. But, you know, it couldn't be this good, right? And soon, pilots faced an issue. No, it wasn't a critical in-flight problem, but it was crucial. It was the support, or better say, the complete lack of it. Imagine this. 
you bought a pretty expensive plane. A beautiful, powerful, and innovative plane that you love to fly. And as time goes on, you might need one or two spare parts, even minor ones. But because of poor logistics and lack of international distributorship experience, you would end up waiting for months for even the smallest part. Luckily, Sokato quickly realized this and invested tons of resources into fixing the issue, resulting in a separate facility in the US and a rapidly growing network of certified service centers and distributors. After sorting out their support services, the TBM family started to grow rapidly. Unfortunately, I wouldn't end up with an hour-long video if I tried to review every one of them. So let's focus on the one that's most widely available and, in my personal opinion, was the biggest step from the initial Model 700. The TBM 900, like any other TBM, fits into the single-engine, high-performance, low-wing, business and utility aircraft category. The fuselage is all aluminum, no fancy composites here. In terms of dimensions, this big bird spans 35 feet in length, 14 feet in height, and has a wingspan of 42 feet. Large Fowler flaps, which take up to 80% of the trailing edge, help to reduce the stall speed for shorter landings. Additionally, for the Model 900, Sokata, by the way, now part of the Dahar conglomerate, even designed their own winglets. The secret of the TBM's performance is, of course, its engine. The large Pratt & Whitney PT-6A delivers 800 horsepower, and when combined with a five-bladed Hartzell composite propeller, it allows the max speed to reach 330 knots, while the cruise speed at 75% is around 260 knots at flight level 280. The range of flight is where the TBM 900 truly shines. Thanks to various fuselage improvements, aerodynamics are exceptional, and when combined with various technological advancements around the powerful Pratt & Whitney engine, this allows the TBM to burn less fuel while maintaining a steady cruise. Sokata claims a range of up to 2,000 miles with max fuel. Isn't that impressive? Speaking of technological advancements, there are plenty of them. Starting with an automatic torque limiter, an automatic fuel selector to maintain balance, ice protection, split flap protection, and many more. It's worth mentioning that with all the technological advancements, the TBM cabin layout is ergonomic and pilot-friendly, as this was one of the main goals when designing the plane. In case you'd like to own one of these beautiful birds, an 8 to 10 year old TBM will set you back around $3 million. And there you have it, the journey of two continents building a plane that amazed pilots around the whole globe. Let me know what you think about this plane, and feel free to share your stories in the comment section below. Thank you so much for joining us. Fly safe, and until next time.